In this video, I'm going to show you how to find every possible location for the Oregon Vault. This is originally a video that I made three years ago, but there were a few things that could have been better about it, and you guys were quick to point that out in the comments. So this video is an updated version that uses the feedback I got to make an even better video. Because of that, this video is going to be a little bit longer than the last one, so there will be time codes down below so you can skip to the parts that interest you. And with that, let's get into the video. Maps in Warframe are created by randomly connecting different tiles from a tile set together. Each tile set only has a certain number of tiles, and the way the Orkin Vault works is by replacing a door in one of these tiles. Based on this, it might seem like the vault can be anywhere since doors are everywhere, but the vault can only replace one of the small regular doors, so the tall doors and the curved doors, they don't count, so that eliminates a lot of the potential locations. There are also some tiles that simply don't have small doors or that are just dead ends, so the number of places that the vault can spawn are actually quite limited. In order to make this video, I decided to do a hundred different vault runs and record the location of the doors, and I'm going to share my findings and the frequency in which they occurred. Before I do that, I'm just going to give some general tips to make it easier to find the vault. If you're not interested in that, you can just skip ahead to the different locations. The first tip is that locations on your level map that you haven't visited yet are hidden, so you can use the level map in order to see where you've been and where you haven't, so you don't get lost while finding the vault. The second tip that I have is that certain tiles have secret passages that are normally above or below the regular walkway or somewhere off to the side that can lead to different rooms that might have the vault. I'll try to cover as many of these secret passages as I can when I go over the different locations. The last tip that I have is that the vault can't spawn in puzzle rooms. And if you see a room that looks like this, the vault is not that way. It's just a dead end. You can turn back around. And with those three tips out of the way, I'll finally get to show you new to different locations. The last time I made this video, I gave the room some pretty weird names. And they're going to stick around mostly for consistency. So the first location is going to be the T-Junction. I found this location 33% of the times that I did this mission. And there's two different locations that the vault can spawn. It can spawn on either side of the hallway. The location that I'm showing right now has two T-junctions connected by a different tile. So that's four chances that the vault can spawn there. And in the different tile, there's also some secret passages. The second location I'm going to cover is the waterfall room. I encountered the vault here about 16% of the times. And there's two different locations here where the vault can spawn. It can spawn either down the center or off to the side. The third most frequent location for the vault to spawn for me was in the Orkin Derelict Plaza, which is the only one of these rooms with an official name. I found the vault here 12 different times, and the vault can spawn near one of the two feet looking thingies, or it can spawn on the second floor. The three locations that I've shown so far by themselves make up over 60% of the locations that I found the vault at, so just memorizing these locations alone can help you greatly. The next most common location for me is the elevator room. This room used to be called the broken elevator room, but both elevators work now, so I had to update the name. But I found the vault here about 8% of the time. There are three different locations the vault can spawn here. It can spawn downstairs next to the stairs, it can spawn upstairs next to the stairs, or it can spawn on the other side down the hallway. It kind of sounds like I'm giving instructions on how to find your classroom, but that's just how it is. I was only able to find two of the different locations in this video, but the third one is documented in my last video in case you really want to see it. The next possible vault location is the Sunlight Room, and I don't really have much to say about this. I found it 6% of the time, and there's only one location for the vault to spawn in here. Another possible vault location is the room with the hole in the wall, and I found this one also 6% of the time, but there's two different locations that the vault can spawn. They're both right next to each other in the elevated platform. There's normally a secret passage in the tunnel that's right outside of the hole in the wall. The next location that I sometimes found the vault at was at spawn point B. 
I found it here 6% of the times and there's only one spawn location here and it's straight ahead when you spawn into the game. There is sometimes a secret location in the room to the side of it. The next possible location is the room with the broken floor. I found this one 3% of the times and the vault can spawn in two different locations. It can spawn on either side of the broken floor. If you go below the floor, there's a secret passage that can sometimes spawn there. The next possible vault location is at Extraction. I found it there 2% of the times, and there's one possible location that the vault can spawn there. Sometimes it's best to run to Extraction if you have difficulties finding the vault, but since I found it so infrequently, it's possible that the vault would just be somewhere else. Another possible vault location is in the Roots Room. This is a room where you normally find a capture target. I found a vault here 2% of the times and it normally spawns by the door up the stairs. There's also a secret passage that can spawn on the ground on the platform across from where the vault door is. The next possible vault location is a broken laser room. I found the vault here about 2% of the times and there's one possible location. There's also a secret passage above the platform in the middle of the room. The next possible vault location is at spawn point A. I found the vault here 1% of the time and there's one possible location for the vault to spawn which is in the room to the left after you spawn. The next possible vault location is at spawn point C. I found a vault here 1% of the time as well, and there's one location here. You just go straight ahead after you spawn and you should find it. Right next to it, there's normally a secret passage as well. The second to last, well, technically the last location that I found a vault is in the room under the floor. I found it here 1% of the time and there's one location for it to spawn. If it doesn't spawn in this location, then this location is often a secret passage. The last possible location that I know of for the vault to spawn is in the room under the roots. Although I didn't find it there this time, I did in the past. And there's one possible location for it to spawn here. And that was all the possible vault locations that I know of. I don't think there's more, there could be. But between this video and the last one, I've done this mission over 200 times and these are all the locations that I found. So I think that's all of it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and share it with someone who will find it useful. And of course, subscribe if you want. Before I end the video, I have two different announcements. One is that I'll be posting a follow-up to this video that shows how profitable the Orkin Vault is. And I also have a Discord server that will be linked in the description below. So if you want to join and leave feedback there or just chat about Warframe, or hopefully in the future partake in giveaways. The link is in the description below and it's linked on my channel. And yeah, that was all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a great day actually.